I get to the bottom, I go back to the top of the slide. I stop and I turn and I go for a ride. Then I get to the bottom and I see you again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you, don't you want me to love you? Coming out fast, but I'm miles above you. Tell me, tell me, come on, tell me the answer You may be a lover, but you ain't no dancer Helter Skelter Helter Skelter Helter Skelter Helter Skelter! A very simple song, but deceptively tricky in places. Starting with the intro, we're going to end up with the middle finger at 3rd fret on string 2. And we're going to be playing the thinnest two strings together. In this fashion. And then we're going to move down to 2nd fret. And then to 1st fret. To keep it accurate to the original, we would actually slide down from 12th fret to get to 3rd fret here. So this is where my double dot is, even though it looks a little strange on my new Shergold guitar. Um, we slide down from here to 3rd fret. This is where the double dot would be. Keep the same pressure. And then we're hitting um, sixteenths, but we want to try and hit them on an all down, just on the thickest two strings. If that's too difficult, you can get the same effect up, up to speed by hitting downs and ups. Down, up, down, up, down, up. But on the record, to get that attack, we got to do that, okay? And we would do that. When I get to the bottom, I go back to the top of the another bar And then a final bar And then we're at a G chord for one bar One and two and three and four and I'm playing an all fingers G And then we're on an E major chord In open position for a very long time, okay? Plenty of time, so um, for this we want to get the strumming pattern a little bit um, grooved up by hitting the thicker strings to start with. One and two and three and four. And that's going to get the real groove of the original. Do you, don't you want me to love you? Three and four thicker strings, everything. And we keep on that E till we get to Tell me, tell me, tell me Come on, tell me the answer It's a G chord Just for one bar Then to an A major chord You may be a lover Now on the tab that I'm following in the chord sheet that's uh, available on the website um, andyguitar.co.uk We just do one strum of the A and it's shown by that kind of little square um, which indicates just to do one strum. You may be a lover, but you may no dancer. One bar of the E. Then. And then we're on to the chorus. Now, the chorus would be a lot trickier, so let's just have a little playthrough from the top to just sort of consolidate so far. So we begin the intro with the slide. Three, four. When I get to the bottom, I go back. To the top of the slide I stop and I turn and I go for a ride Then I get to a G chord One and two and three Yeah, yeah, E, E, stay on the E Do you, don't you want me to love you? Two, stay on the E Falling down fast but I'm miles above you Stay on the E Tell me, tell me, tell me, G, tell me the answer. One strum of A, you may be a lover, but you ain't no E 
chords. And then we're on to the chorus. Simplest way to do it, A major. Three, four. Helter Skelter, three and four and then an E chord. Helter Skelter, four and A chord. And then one strum of the E. That's the simplest way to do it, just A and E. One more time, three, four. Helter Skelter, Helter Skelter. Now to scout out. And then one strum of the E. And then essentially we're back onto that um, chorus, uh, the verse again, just staying on that E. Chorus riff. This is where it gets tricky, and you really need to have covered my alternate picking lesson. How to pick with downs and ups uh, before this, and I'll be linking to that lesson just here, just so we can get the speed of this. But now we're going to go for... Helter Skelter Helter Skelter Helter Skelter That's what we're going for! How cool is that? Um, so we begin the chorus with this little blues riff Slightly, slightly paused um, the, the one on the beat, so one and a mute and then the one on the and is unmuted. Mute, strum, mute, strum. Okay, so that's done with the outside of the palm. So definitely get used to doing that first. That would happen on the A and the E. How to scatter. How to scatter. But then we're going to add... Notes from the major scale. So, um, this is... We're on the A chord. Helter Skelter. Little finger at fifth fret. Yes, this is why you've done all these stretching exercises that I've done uh, so far on my channel and spider exercises because we need to use that little finger at fifth fret to third finger at fourth fret, uh, first finger at second fret to open. La, 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 la. Hear that major scale sound, and we need to play this with a down and an up pick, otherwise we'll never do it up to speed. So we need down, up, down, up. And then four, two, zero with the third middle and, f and just to the open string and that's how it's tabbed and that's how it should be played however i really prefer to do the first note rather than with my little finger when i'm rocking out in a band in a cover band or something I really like to play that first note with the open third string. It perhaps doesn't sound as accurate tone-wise, but it's way easier to do for me personally when I'm stood up and I'm rocking out in a band. Largely because I can keep my fingers on this kind of angle. So I like to do open third string and then everything else the same. But if you're being strict and you want to play it how it would be played, you can do it like that as well. But you can see that change of position of my fingers. And then to this. Can't play that way of doing it like that. So they, those are your two options, I guess. And um, then we would do the exact same riff, um, but with the E chord. So... Then to the E chord. It's exactly the same riff, of course. So it's, this is the advantage of learning riffs based on an E power chord or an E blues riff and then an A blues riff. It's exactly the same finger motions, it's just which strings you're playing. So this one would start on the thickest two strings on the E. 
and then play the same riff but from string five. <laughs> And then we just play the E chord, uh, one strum at the end of the chorus, and then there's um, the, th uh, what would we play here, um, the fifth fret of string two, I support it with fingers one and two as well, I play it with a third finger, but one, two and three are down, and then that's just going to push up, kind of as high as you can get it. Warning, if you keep doing that over and over again, you may break your second string. Don't blame me, blame the Beatles. That's how it goes. Just have a look at the chorus now. After you may be a lover, but you ain't no dancer. Chorus demo. Helter Skelter. Helter Skelter. Helter Skelter. And just that good old E chord. The easier way to do it. Helter Skelter. Helter Skelter. Helter Skelter. Or even just with open chords. Helter Skelter. Helter Skelter. Helter Skelter. And then that would repeat. Pete, uh, from the verse, a little bit different on the second verse, but follow your chord sheet and you will know how to do that. The outro. Just stays on the E chord and plays that riff in E. Other than that, stick on the record nice and loud, turn your amplifier up and have a bit of fun playing along to the Beatles. Thank you very much for watching, please subscribe if you haven't already, and check out my other videos on my Andy Guitar YouTube channel now.